All signs are pointing to a very close finish in this week's British election. The leaders are spending the last few days of the campaign focusing on the seats where undecided voters can make all the difference. Gordon Brown, meanwhile, appears to have rediscovered his political voice. He's made an impassioned speech calling for justice and fairness. But as Europe correspondent Philip Williams reports, it may come too late to save Labor. A few days ago, it was a pensioner derailing Gordon Brown's campaign. This is my mum, Sandra, and my grandmother, Marta. They both work hard as cleaners in the Treasury. They were brave to speak out, and I suppose I am too. My but now it was the story told by a teenage girl of her family struggling to survive on meagre public sector wages that stirred prime ministerial passions. Because we must lead by example, Labour is pledged to go even further by asking all Whitehall departments to back the campaign that you have led and to which I pay tribute, the campaign for the living wage. That political mojo rediscovered in front of thousands of community and church activists may have come too late. A poll taken in marginal Labour seats gives the Conservatives a tiny two-seat majority, enough to govern, just, but David Cameron is taking nothing for granted. Well, I want them to think that if they want a new government with a new Prime Minister that can roll up its sleeves and start the important work we need to build a stronger economy and a stronger society, then please vote Conservative. With just two days of campaigning left, the 11th hour pitchers will have to overcome pent-up antipathy towards MPs after the expenses scandals of last year. It don't matter who gets in, they still might get cock up. With attitudes like that, it may end up a contest of the least unpopular. And on current polls, the Conservatives still with the strongest chance to govern alone. Philip Williams, ABC News, London.